Hi guys, today I want to show you how I created these damaged doorway effects. I created them using both 3ds Max and ZBrush. And I wanted to show you because uh, number one, it's a very easy process uh, to achieve. And two, I feel that with the advent of UE5 and uh, Nanite, all the talk is about high poly meshes and uh, getting all that detail in. And uh, in this case, uh, less is more. And uh, in fact, uh, I was able to achieve this effect uh, with a uh, low poly count. And I tried it with a much higher one. And um, in fact, uh, did not get the same uh, result. Uh, here I have a, a quick reference guide uh, on what I was trying to achieve, uh, trying to get these cracked, uh, sharp uh, cracks between the wall plaster paint and uh, the damage of the uh, sort of cement underneath once it's exposed. And uh, this is what uh, I will uh, try to show you how to uh, achieve in a relatively uh, quickly, um, quick way. So let's get started. Let's jump into ZBrush. So here we are in ZBrush, and the first thing I'd like to do is come into the Z plugins, and under the Dynamesh Master, I've set the poly count to 1.5 million, and I'm going to Dynamesh this asset. Uh, the next thing that I'd like to do is soften these hard edges. So if I come here, I'm going to use the Trim Dynamic Brush to quickly come in and uh, set these, uh, uh, soften these edges. Uh, down. I'm uh, going through this uh, in a sort of very uh, quick and organic way. I'm not looking into uh, trying to get any specific detail, uh, but just merely uh, going through this and uh, breaking uh, those edges down. One thing that I do like to do when I'm working uh, in this sort of way is lock the camera uh, uh, angle. So um, I have set that to a, a hotkey shift Q so that I can uh, work uh, much, fa much faster and this uh, sort of is a much easier way uh, to not accidentally start moving the camera around but rather just set it to the position you want and just uh, quickly do your job. Um, so I'm going to stop the video here and uh, when I come back we'll move on to the second uh, stage. So here we are back and the next brush I'd like to use is the Mallet Fast and you can find that in the lightbox section here in the brush folder there is a sub uh, folder called mallet and with that i'd like to come in and uh, start creating those damages uh, along the edges sort of um, again going through this in a sort of very fast and organic way letting the brush do the work and sort of welcoming any happy accidents uh, along the way um, as you can see it's uh, very fast uh, process um, just going through this very intuitively here just going through and using the brush to do all the work I'm gonna fast forward this part so we can uh, see the final result and uh, then we can move on to the uh, final uh, step. So here's our finished doorway. Uh, what I'm going to do next is come again back into the Z plugin um, drop down. And here I will be using the Decimation Master. And again, as I initially had said, uh, uh, this uh, particular effect works well when we have a very small um, uh, sort of uh, decimation poly count. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down to something like 3000. And decimated and uh, just like that uh, I'm going to uh, export this guy out again and uh, 
bring it into 3D Studio Max uh, to finish the effect. So with that, uh, I'm going to stop the video here and see you guys uh, in 3D Studio Max. So here we are back in 3ds Max and here I have imported the damaged doorway. As you can see, it looks pretty bad, but we can easily fix that. Let's add Medic Poly. Come here to the polygons and uh, select by angle. Let's bring this down something like uh, maybe uh, nine. And uh, let's select all the non-damaged uh, uh, polygons. And uh, here under the polygon smoothing groups, I'm just gonna clear all and uh, you can immediately see the result we get, which is this nice transition on the damaged uh, doorway between the walls here. Uh, the next step is to uh, texture this asset. And uh, again, I'm gonna come up here and uh, select the uh, non-damaged uh, uh, polygons in the same sort of way that we did uh, for the uh, smoothing groups. And once I've selected them, I can change the uh, set ID here to another number. And um, if I bring up my uh, material editor and simply drag in my material, uh, you will see that we have now two uh, materials for this asset. And the last thing, of course, is to UV the asset. So again, I'm going to come in here, um, open the unwrap uh, UVW, Again, select uh, by angle, and once I select the faces, just uh, simply planar map this asset very quickly. I'm just going to go through this as fast as I can. can be a little bit more uh, precise, but just for the sake of this tutorial, we'll try to move as fast as uh, we can. So I'm just going to select the damage now under the door and go into flatten mapping. And um, here we have uh, the whole uh, asset UV. Uh, last thing I'm going to do is going to select all my UVs here. And I use this uh, Texel Density tool, which is free to download. Um, you can find it if you Google Texel Density for 3ds Max. And basically, it allows me to have uh, to standardize the uh, Texel Density uh, to the number that I have set here. And with that, I'm going to collapse this asset, and we are ready to import it into UE4. So here we are in Unreal and I have imported our damaged doorway and let's uh, quickly texture it. Uh, I'm going to just select the damaged uh, material and just uh, drag it in. And as you can see, immediately we can see this nice uh, transition between the outer uh, wall and the inner uh, damaged doorway. Um, I'm just going to drag in this um, plaster as well on the wall and you can see the uh, full effect. Uh, I'm using Xtile's non-repetitive uh, tiling functions here um, to get some uh, non-repetition on my tiling. Um, if you'd like to know more about these materials, you can watch the videos uh, below, or uh, you can also find the actual uh, materials on the uh, Unreal uh, Marketplace. Uh, with that, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below. Uh, take care and thanks for watching. Bye.